right now. And I got one of these craftings. We need shells from it. He's killing it. He killed it. He's fucking fighting it right now, Stone. We need that clamshell. That clamshell is what we need. It's a little roller. It's... The clamshell killed the wolf! The clamshell killed the fucking wolf, bro. It's eating it. It just ate the meat. Yo, bro, <laughs> this is a fucking sick game. This fucking crab thing killed the wolf and ate his meat. I'm not joking with you, yo. I'm not joking with you. I just sat here and watched him eat the fucking wolf's meat after he killed it. <laughs> awesome. Oh, shit. He fucked my life up. I gotta be careful with this bitch. Holy shit, he's fucking wrong! He fucked my ass up! I gotta run! Stone, I need your help. I ran into a group of rogue humans that are not too far from our camp. So I actually fought and defeated five of them by running and hitting them one by one. But I saw that they're starting to grow out there. So... It looks like we're going to have intertown battles. So I decided to focus my time on reinforcing our fort. So what I did was, I'm going to go up this tower so you can actually see uh, from the top view. Alright, so as you can see, I put secondary walls up. So, what that does also is, it gives us the ability to put more stuff inside those walls. Some of these walls we can't expand more because this is the edge of town, of our area right here. So, this is our weakest point is this here, but we have the tower here so we can see things coming. And then, as you can see, I expanded the walls on the exterior. So we could even put crops and stuff in between there, even put another house in there. So our interior wall will be our main wall. And you can see there's a little pin in there that I added, you know, the trap animals and shit. And then out there I put platforms on the outer walls there so we can climb up and, you know, crossbow and actually s scout out ahead. You know, there's a and two entry doors so that way you have to enter the in the outer wall first and then inner wall on some attack on titan type shit you know what i'm saying so you know just did some reinforcements there and gathered some food uh, but we could also utilize the space for more more things too as well so you know i'll let you you know expand on this we could even knock out that wall over here where this white dot is, knock out this wall all the way across and just expand that to that area there. Uh, but, you know, we can do multiple things there. And maybe put a secondary wall in between them. But, you know, we can decide what to do. Either keep it as an exterior wall or just expand our town to that exterior wall. So our town could grow a lot bigger from there but the town the enemies that I saw are right here where this white dot is they're just over that hill and just a, a few clicks in that direction and I went ahead further and I scouted ahead and saw more groups and they're just dudes by campfires but I would think as we play they're gonna start to advance and when they get to like a town like us I thought they were friendlies, and I approached them, and then they attacked me. But the cool thing is, as I killed them, I got all their weapons. Look, one, two, three of these swords, and then they had pickaxes. I took their pickaxes, I just used them, but these short swords. Uh, also, I cooked some meat. Oh, I got some grilled meat from them. I had like four pieces of grilled meat, so then I also cooked more and put them in the, in the chest. I also added more chests. Let's go down there and see. Oh shit. Okay. I added more chest to 
you know, this is where our fertilizer stuff is at for growing crops. And then here's the bones and vines because I maxed them out and there's an empty chest I just added. Over here is food. So you can see there's cooked meat in there plus fresh meat. And then here's milk and wheat. And then granite. This is going to be all our uh, wooden weapons, like arrows and shit, is going to be in there. Oh, this is more granite. And then here's, uh, you know, wolf fangs. And then, oh, I also got one of these from those dudes, too. A blast powder. I got one of those. So that's that's actually scary because if they have blast powder, they can create explosives. So we might be need to worry. So, yeah, I maxed this out in here. So that's why I made that other chest. And then here's um, silk and feathers and wool, soft materials. And here's wood. And here is wood accessories like planks and wooden rods. Uh, but that's it. I'm getting up out of here. I did notice that you have a personal chest in here. Yeah, I saw that. So, what I ended up doing is t taking your example, and I made my made a chest of my own. Right here. So I got some food and some axes in there. Leave this door open. These are three beds unassigned. Here. Yeah, that's the little the little uh, temporary suite for these temporary villagers. Where are the villagers? Are they fucking sleeping? Oh shit. Where are these villagers at? Oh shit, they might be locked out. Look at these motherfuckers. They're just sitting here. Look at these motherfuckers. Look at them. They got tra trapped themselves in here. Stupid fucks. You gotta leave these doors open. These fuckers get stuck in there. They dumb. They don't know how to open doors or something. Let's go ahead and collect these. I was thinking we could put our crops in here. See? We should make this our little crop area. And just plant crops all up in this bitch through here. Or even trap animals, whatever, you know. How the fuck did this bitch... How the fuck did that bitch get in that little spot? She got trapped out here. Ah, damn. Dummies. See, look, look how much more space we got here. See, that's what this, the platforms are for, so we can look over the wall and scan the area. And then got two by this door over here. Those fools are just over that ridge over there. Alright, well that's it. You know, let me know what you think. I'm about to send this to you right now.